All right, let's test a transmission solenoid using a multimeter and a 12 volt battery. This will apply basically for Toyota vehicles, so let's see. All right, we have two chief solenoids here. We're gonna be testing both of them. And these ones have only one pin, as you can see. The ones that have two pins, they have a different way to be tested. And Toyota uses the same technique to test the chief solenoids and all the Toyota vehicles, as long as they have one pin. My multimeter lead here, I have a put this alligator here to make it easier for me. We're gonna put a positive multimeter lead here from the multimeter right here. And this is the negative multimeter lead here from the multimeter. We're gonna put it in ohms right there. Now, before anything, we have to know the manufacturer specifications when we're gonna test the shift solenoids. Otherwise, we won't be able to test them. In this case, if I get between 11 and 15 ohms on my multimeter, then this shift solenoid should be passing this test. But Toyota has two tests. One is with a multimeter and the other one is with a 12 volt battery. So we're gonna do this one first. For this shift solenoid to be fine, to be working properly, it should pass both tests. So let's see. Twelve point nine ohms. So this shift solenoid passes this test. We're gonna do it one more time just to make sure. Great, twelve point eight, twelve point nine ohms. So this shift solenoid has passed the, uh, the first test. So let's see the second test. But before we're gonna go ahead and uh, test this one too. That one we're gonna put this aside. Right here, we're gonna test this one. The passive multimeter lead goes always, uh, always on the pin. Thirteen point two ohms, point one, thirteen ohms. So this solenoid is passing this test too. I'm gonna take it away, the multimeter lead, and then try it one more time just to make sure. And the same. So this uh, this shift solenoids have passed the first test, so let's go with the second test. All right, my 12 volt battery here, the two shift solenoids and the two alligators here, I already connect them, positive and negative right here, as you can see. Before connecting this one here, just make sure you're wearing gloves. In this case, because 12 volt battery is very strong, it can hurt you, just in case, it can chuck you. If I apply 12 volts to this shift solenoids, and if it makes an operation sound, or like a click, like a big click, a strong click, then this shift solenoid should be working properly because it already has passed the first test with a multimeter. So we're gonna see that and uh, see what happens. Positive alligator here from the battery it goes on the pin right here. Let's see, we're gonna make contact here. We're gonna get as close as we can to the camera. So, oops, <laughs> I touched it before time, but I'm pretty sure you heard the click or the operation sound. I did it by accident. So now if I do it again, it won't click anymore. See? But it won't do it anymore. See? It won't do it anymore. But if I disconnect it completely and let it like that for about one minute, two minutes, it, it will do it again. You will see. All right, I'll try to do more careful here. Uh, let's see this one. Do you guys hear that click? See, it won't do it again. Nothing. It won't do it again. Now let's get this one again. I haven't waited even for a minute, but let's test it again. You have to disconnect it completely because it's not being pressure loaded in the transmission. That's why it will click only once. But if you if you do this test in the transmission without taking it out from the transmission, it will click every time you apply 12 volt, but not here, out of the transmission, out of the valve body. So let's see. This one is the one I clicked before time. Do you, do you hear the click? Let's try it one more time. See, nothing. Nothing. It does a very, very little sometimes, but it won't, it won't do it again. So let's go with this one again one more time really quick. This one should be ready again to click again. 
So these two shift solenoids are in very um, working order and working condition. They're very good. Here you can see the instructions from Toyota software. So you can be positive that this is the way to test them. They have to pass both tests in order for this shift solenoids uh, to be fine. All right, if you suspect that a transmission shift solenoid is going bad on your Toyota vehicle, just get a multimeter and a 12 volt battery and it should be easy to test it. This is the way to test it. The ones that have one pin, the ones with the two pins, they have a different way to be tested. And if you think this video is helpful for you in any way, please don't hesitate to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.